Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have a bit of a different one for you. I'm actually going to be talking about a situation that happened back uh, near the end of March that um, had me stressing quite a bit. So I almost wasted a lot of money and uh, here is how that happened. So I was going into town to uh, see some friends and my one of these friends had come back from England for a three week holiday. And so I was going over to one of my other friend's houses for um, dinner and drinks. And so I booked my parking through Wilson Parking. Um, they have their Book a Bay um, online service where you can pre-book your car parking and it ends up a lot cheaper than it would if you just um, entered the car park and exited the car park like normal. So I use this all the time for my busking and I figured going into town, I'll do it again. It's $8 for um, a night parking, um, which I think is, it's anywhere after four. But if you do book it for um, 4 p.m., you can enter up to an hour prior to that. So really you can enter from 3 p.m. And then you have to be um, exited the car park by 12.30 like no later than 12.30 as that is when the car park closes on weekdays. Now it's different on weekends, but we're talking here about weekdays. I think this was a, a Tuesday night. And um, so I went off to my friend's place. We had dinner, we had drinks. It was just such a great catch up. And I was actually talking about the following night, um, what I was gonna do for parking because I had um, something I was going to that was sort of near Chinatown, but I'd also wanted to be busking before that. Um, so I was discussing with my friend and she was like, oh, you know, well, we could probably park around here to be all right. Um, so I'm just sat there discussing, talking to her. And um, it was right after fringe time. So we had the Lime scooters, um, which is basically there's a, an app that you have on your phone and you can unlock a scooter and it's an electric scooter. And um, you can just, you know, travel across the city and then, you know, use your, your app to, uh, I can't think of the word right now, but sign off of the scooter, like I'm leaving this, and then get charged the fee. So I had used a Lime scooter to get down from the mall um, to my friend's place, because she's over west of where Rundle Mall is. And uh, so I was planning on Lime scootering back to the car park um, back near Rundle Mall. So I finally, you know, the night wrapped up and uh, I go outside and I go to jump on one of these lime scooters. And this is the first time I actually look at the clock because I've been in this like, this world of like, wow, my, my friends are here. Like my, my one friend's back from England. This is so great to be just catching up, you know, hanging out. It's awesome. I don't get to do this very often. And so I look at my phone and it's like 20 past 12, I think, or it might've been even 25 past 12. It was ridiculously close to the car park closing. And yet I, instead of just going, I'm not gonna make it, what do I do from here? I get on this Lime scooter and I'm just like bashing it. Like you can't go more than 15 kilometers an hour on these things, but it's not like I was gonna run any faster. <laughs> I'm not that athletic. Um, so I, yeah, I just kept trying to make it. I was like, maybe, just maybe they won't close the doors right on 12.30. Maybe I will have just this ounce of luck and I'll get there and I'll still be able to get my car. But as I'm sure you can imagine, I, uh, I got there and the doors were closed. It was 38 uh, past 12. So I was eight minutes later than them closing the door. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I was talking about parking for about eight minutes, like at least eight minutes. If I just stopped talking <laughs> and left, I would have just been able to get my car and leave. Um, as it was, I'm on the street outside some closed doors into this car park. And I can see the sign that says um, for after hours car release, $44, call this number. And so in my head, I'm going, God, I don't want to have to wait around for someone um, to come and let me out of the car park. I also really don't want to spend $44, but I realize this is my reality now. I have stuffed up. I've got my car locked in. What am I going to do? What are my options here? Um, my friend had said, well, if you come back, you can, you can um, stay at my place. 
if you need and then go like get your car in the morning and I considered that but my friend that had come over from England um, was also was already staying um, at my other friend's house and she only has a one bedroom apartment so I think um, my English friend well from Australia but the one that's staying in England um, she was gonna be sleeping on the couch and uh, that meant I would get the floor and I wasn't really um, really all that keen for the floor so I thought I'd rather go home have a good night's sleep come back tomorrow and you know deal with the problem then so I decided to catch an uber home that uber ride came to $18.55 and I had a really nice conversation with the guy and when it said you know do you want to tip them I was like you know we don't usually tip people here in Australia but I was like, yeah, I'll give him a dollar, like, sure, let's do that. So $19.55 out of pocket, got home, went to bed. Next morning, so I thought through this and I thought, well, I paid for my parking for last night and now it'll be like, I'll get charged for today. I'll get the, the maximum rate for today. And so I needed to book parking for that night to do my busking and then go off to the place near Chinatown. And I was thinking, well, there's not really much point um, if I go in and get my car, because if I'm going in, I might as well go in when I need to go in anyway, and then get my car after my busking and my commitment. And so I, uh, I got into town. My mum actually came, picked me up because she was coming by and dropped me into town. She continued on her way and I was in town. So cool. Okay. Um, so then I go busking. I go off to my other commitment. I come back from that commitment about, what was it? I'm thinking like 11.30. So at this stage, my car has been in the car park since about six the night before. So a little over 29 hours, I think is what it came to. I, you know, this is a couple of months back now, so I'm trying my best to remember. Um, and so I go to the ticket machine where usually there's a button at least in, in U parks, but perhaps not in Wilson parks, <laughs> there's usually a button that is like a, um, a lost ticket button. But there wasn't a lost ticket button on this machine. The only option I had was um, the call button to speak to someone. So I pressed that, spoke to someone and said, well, this is what I've done. Um, what do I do now? And she said, just you know, get to your car, drive down to the boom gate and use your credit card on the, the, the gate exit um, and you'll get charged there. So, okay, no worries. So I did that and I'm trying to work out where to put my card and all that. And then I see like some numbers flash up on a screen, but too fast for me to be able to like read them. And um, so then out comes the receipt and I look at it and I think it said something like, $88.09 and I was like oh my god <laughs> that's that's crazy you know I was expecting maximum ticket fee is $30 or $29 at that car park so I was imagining I was going to get charged that and then I would have paid $8 from the night before and I would have paid the $19.55 on the Uber and so it would have come out to around you know fifty eight dollars for the entire night um slash day and i was like you know that's really bad but i've done this to myself and when this ticket came out with eighty eight dollars something on it i was just like you're such a mess samantha like how could you have done this to yourself but once again i was like this is my reality we're just gonna leave it this is tomorrow's problem i went home i i slept on it and uh, so if we, we look back at things, I've spent $8, I've spent $19.55, and then I've spent $88, bringing up to like $126. $126! $126. So I'm like, that, you know, that's a good busking session right there. Gone. <laughs> um, but given, you know, I still would have had to spend $8 on both nights. I would have been up for $16 if I'd actually done the right thing, not stuffed myself up. Um, so yeah, only $110 more than that. Psh, nothing. Uh, so 
I then, once again, I was in a very stressful, like there was lots of high, highly time sensitive things happening that needed my attention at this point. And um, so it did take me, I think, a week or two to send a message to Wilson Parking and basically beg. I just begged. I was like, I cannot afford this. I don't have money to pay for things that I do need. And this is just a stupid mistake. And I'm just really hoping you could help me. And I don't expect you to refund me the whole amount. Like I totally get it was all on me, but I'm just really hoping you can help me out here. Um, I said, even if you could just refund me $30, which would have brought it down to like $58 plus the $8 parking. I was like, you know, that would just be so helpful. It would just make the world a difference. It had actually brought my bank account down to like, I think $8 or something. And it was just ridiculous. I have not been in a good place money wise. And it's just been very um, full on this year. So after I think three weeks, perhaps, I hadn't heard back from them. And I'd used their, their website contact form. So as a last ditch attempt, because I'm like, they're probably not going to do anything. You know, fair enough. I just have to take the loss. Um, but as a last ditch attempt, I found their direct contact email address. And I sent the like another email, including my original email in case anything happened and it didn't go through on that contact form. So I went to bed after I'd sent this email saying, you know, I'm not sure if you've received this last email, but I did send this and you know, just really would appreciate any help you can give. And I went to bed, I woke up in the morning to an email from them, replying to my contact form message, not my um, direct email, saying that they'd refunded me, I think 55 or $58. Yeah, I think it was 58 because of the 88. And so in the end, they charged me $30 and they sent me back $58. And so end of the day, $8 plus $19.50 plus $30 comes out to around the 58 mark. And uh, it could have been much worse. In fact, it could have been more than double that. And honestly, like, I loved Wilson Parking before with their Booker Bay and being able to save so much money for busking because obviously when I go busking, the less that I have to put out to you know get myself out there, the more profit I can make, the better I will go when I go busking. And so I've been a big fan of theirs having this system and they've just once again proved to me that they are awesome <laughs> because they've really helped me here and um, and it was just so lucky that whoever it was that actually decided to put this through and take pity on me um, did decide to do that and not just send me back, well, too bad, sorry, you know, you've stuffed up, you've done this. Um, you handled the situation completely wrong because obviously if I'd just paid the $44 that night, I would have paid 44 plus the eight I'd already paid plus another eight for the following night. So $60 is where I would have been at if I'd called someone out. Um, but yeah, uh, it didn't end up <laughs> too much worse um, in the long run. So I am so thankful to Wilson Parking for this. Um, obviously like this visit, bleh, this video isn't sponsored in any way. It's just me telling you about the, the really quite scary experience I went through because of not having any money in my bank account and having a big expense crop up that I was not expecting all over just losing track of time. Let me know in the comments below if anything like this has happened to you in the past, if anything just, you know, a very minor mistake that blew out to something quite expensive and whether you were able to like resolve it and um, have it not work out so bad in the end or whether it was just that bad and you just have to move on. <laughs> um, I'd really love to hear all your stories as well. So thanks for joining me and I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you again in another video soon. Bye.